This lesson does some more clipping. In this one, an image is painted to the screen, but only in the areas inside a set of letters. It looks like the scene in the background is being seen through the letters, as if there were windows. Now, here's how that's done. This sort of stuff requires a lot of classes. We seem to be getting more and more import statements at the top of each example. Just for the sake of variety, this program does a lot of the preliminary work inside the constructor. Also, we're calling the add mouse listener method because we're going to have the picture change each time the mouse is clicked. An affine transform is constructed. This transform is used to put the line of text in the center of the window and then scale it to the right size. Everything is pretty much as we've seen it before. The text layout object contains the actual string to be displayed. A general path object is constructed from the shape of the string of characters. The last thing done in the constructor is the loading of the image file. Here again is the familiar code that loads the image file into a RAM resident image object. Nothing new here. The paint method is a bit different. Here, if the image object doesn't yet exist, it's created and a graphics 2D object is extracted from it. Now, this extracted graphics 2D object is used to set the clip area of this new image to the shape of the text. After the clipping has been set, the picture image is drawn to the new image object. Because of the clipping, the image is only painted into the areas covered by the letters. Everything is now set to do the presentation. If the value of state is zero, the picture image object is drawn to the screen. This is the image that contains the full graphics of the file as loaded from disk. In this case, it's drawn without any overlays or modifications. If the value of state is one, the picture image is drawn first, just as it was in the previous example. Then the letters of the word are painted over the top of it with all the letters filled in black. If the value of the state is 2, then the modified image is drawn. This is the one that was created under the mask, so only the unclipped portions of the picture are actually displayed. These are the mouse methods. Only the clicked method does anything, and it switches the value of state by adding 1 to it. If the new value is greater than 2, then it's set back to 0. So three pictures are shown, and the picture changes whenever the mouse is clicked. The entire picture is displayed just the way it was loaded from disk. By the way, this picture is public domain. It's a snapshot I took from my dining room window. It's looking south across Kachemak Bay. On the other side of that mountain range you see is the Pacific Ocean and Kodiak Island. Uh, clicking the mouse switches the value of state to 1, and the picture is displayed with the letters on top of it. This is just a draw image for the picture and a fill with the general path of the shape. One more click changes the value to 2. This causes the new image object to be drawn. Now, this image had the picture painted on it, but only after the clipping area had been set by the shape of the letters in the word. You can use anything for clipping, and anything you paint will be constricted by it. You can combine things with transparency and transformations and everything else you've seen to make just about any picture you'd like.